Someone needs to wear that sweater, maybe take it to Milwaukee. I was going to say, please. Take it to, I don't know what we need to do, <laughs> but we're hoping for that win for the next game, Lauren. So, oh, man. Yeah. Tell me about it. Tough night for Suns fans, at least uh, after the game. Really humid out there this evening, but uh, mm. out of the triple digits for the most part. We are continuing to cool down for the rest of the evening, but yeah, it still is pretty sticky, which I'll show you those dew points here coming up in the Metro. We're at 97, 92 in Gila Bend. Lake Havasu, you're in the mid 90s and cooler across the high country. It is downright juicy out there, okay? You walk out there, you just feel the thickness in the air, and all this monsoonal moisture is gonna stay locked with us. Lake Havasu City, we see you. Check out the rain that came through early around 4 35 o'clock this afternoon. There it went. It was more bark than bite on the radar. Lavas didn't quite reach the ground, it evaporated before doing so. But you know what? Anytime we see something like this on the radar, we get pretty excited. This part of the state, as you know, it doesn't see too much in the way of rainfall. Well, what's left out there for the rest of the evening, just some showers, perhaps some thunder showers. I wouldn't completely rule out lightning across Navajo Nation. Nothing severe or anything like that. We're past this point. Just a total 180 compared to what we had yesterday evening. Lingering showers could very well greet us by tomorrow morning. Most of us dry, though. There we go that afternoon. Heating and instability popping more of those showers and storms first across the high country right along the rim. Going to try to work their way into the lower deserts. Just going to have a hard time doing so. And do I think we're going to see more storms compared to what we had earlier this evening? I do, but I'm still not anticipating anything that widespread. That's why tomorrow's thunderstorm outlooks being held to just isolated, meaning not that widespread in coverage. After midnight, you'll drop to 85 in the metro, 86 in Tempe. Gilbert, you'll cool to 83 after midnight. We'll wake up tomorrow morning, temperatures there, and then we'll bounce back right into the triple digits. But cooler temperatures are on the horizon. I'll be very mindful if you're planning on doing any traveling with those high country showers and thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon and evening. For the lower deserts, though, keep things fairly on the quiet side. In fact, over these next few days, we're going to be more or less in a lull in that activity. But check out Thursday and Friday. If anybody in this entire area is going to be seeing showers and thunderstorms, I'd place my bets on Thursday and Friday of this upcoming week. All right, we're going to hold you to that one, Lauren. Thank you.